This afternoon, our beloved will receive the greatest gift, and that is another person to share with, to grow with, to change with, and to be joyful with as a family. We come together as a family and as a community to celebrate and witness the joining of Nicole and Thomas in marriage. As family and friends, you have helped to support their relationship from the beginning, and by witnessing their marriage ceremony this afternoon, they ask that you share in their future. together will be marked by abundance and delight. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundation of a happy home. No human ties are more important or more tender. And to you, the loving families and friends, legend has it that when a man loves a woman and a woman loves a man, the angels abandon heaven and come to sit with the couple and they sing for joy. recognize and respect the promises you have made here this afternoon before these, your family and friends. Therefore, in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here this afternoon, and by the power vested in me by the state of Connecticut and by my priestly consecration, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Nicole, you may kiss your groom. We thank you, God, for calling each of us to live in holiness and love. Help us to embrace this calling with faith and to share your love with all. We believe your spirit fills us and empowers us to respond to your presence. May your spirit kindle within us the fire of your love. We ask your blessing upon Nicole and Thomas as they begin this new life as husband and wife. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure and my great joy to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Miss Gibbons.
Paul and Thomas are two of the kindest people you'll ever meet. And over the years, I've seen how they support and complement each other in many ways. Thomas has never been the most outgoing person. He often prefers spending time at home and sometimes I have to drag him out to see our friends when he's back visiting Virginia. I never thought he'd end up with someone more quiet than he is, but he managed to find that with Nicole. And one thing I've noticed about her is how she really tolerates and even encourages all of Thomas' weird hobbies. As some of you know, Thomas has gotten really into photography over the past several years, and his photos always turn out great. But when I've accompanied him on these expeditions, I realized that getting that perfect shot often involves waking up at odd hours and standing in a wet field, waiting for the right lighting conditions or for a certain type of bird to fly by. Despite this, Nicole is always incredibly patient. I've never heard her complain, even while I bother him to hurry up and give me the car keys so I can wait where it's warm. It's not just Nicole who accommodates Thomas's peculiarities. This goes for the other way around too. Thomas has been vegan for a number of years now and is pretty strict about not eating meat. But when he and Nicole were preparing dinner during a recent family vacation, he still volunteered to cut the chicken for her because she didn't like touching raw meat. Moments like these show you why I and the rest of the Miss Cummins family are so excited to welcome Nicole into our family. I can tell how happy these two make each other and I'm excited to watch the relationship continue to grow in the coming years. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Michaela and Nicole and I have known each other since high school. I'm happy to say that at this point, you and I have been friends for more than half of our lives. I need you to know how honored I am to have shared so many memories with you, and I am so excited that today will just be one more. For years, I was with Nicole at band competitions, hockey games, and so many other events, looking for the perfect guy for each of us, but Nicole actually managed to find his. Tom, I could not have thought of a better man for Nicole. I would tell you to treat her right and take care of her, but there's no doubt in my mind that you always will. You compliment her as a person so beautifully and you make her happier than I've ever seen her in all my years of knowing her. When I met you for the first time, at Chili's mind you, you and Nicole sat there so quietly just taking in everything as Britt, Jar and I chattered on a mile a minute as we typically do. And I remember thinking that it was so adorable how similar the two of you were and how perfectly your personalities seemed to match. And here we are years later still celebrating how perfectly you two go together. As a couple, you've grown so much and I can't wait to see how much you two continue to grow, constantly pushing each other to be the best version of yourselves and creating the most wonderful future imaginable. I wish you a lifetime of love and laughter, health and happiness, and every other good thing I can possibly think of. You both absolutely deserve it. I'll always be falling for you.